Hey guys, Jared here from Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Right here we have our 2024 Bullet 260 RBS. So, a couple things to start off with. This does come with Keystone's three year structural warranty and their 12 month uh, warranty as well. This is going to be a gross vehicle weight of 7,600. Then up front we got our electric tongue jack, two 20 pound propane tanks, which you do fill for free of charge. Battery rack right there where we give you your free battery and battery box. Rock guard going along the front. Then you get two LED strips and then four lights up top. So on this side of the pass-through storage, we have our magnetic door. Then over on the inside, we have our charge controller, our disconnect for our solar system, and then the inverter prep spot. Then if you want to bring additional solar panels with, just plug them in right here and you can bring more. And then we got our docking station right here. So we got a hot and cold water outdoor shower, our fresh and city water connection, and our winterizing station. And all of those hoses are gonna get ran from underneath here. And then for these magnetic doors, uh, and if people are walking around inside or it's windy outside, instead of just having a weak magnet holding this up, there's an actual latch that locks it in place. We do have our fiberglass siding on here with Bullet's new decals for 2024. So on the back side here, we have our black and gray connections. And then our, if you swing the camera underneath, we can see our heated and enclosed underbelly and our electric jacks. You get two, two in the front, two in the back. You don't have to remember to bring a drill and you don't have to manually crank them by hand. Everything's gonna be electric, go down nice and smooth. Right here, we got our, our sewer holes storage. And then we do get a bumper mounted spare tire. So if you do get a flat on the side of the highway, you're not crawling underneath the camper, trying to break off a rusty bolt. Everything's gonna be at waist level right here. And then we get a little hitch right there. If you wanna bring some bike, some kayak, something like that, you can get the right holder. We got our rear mounted ladder. So ladder is always gonna be there. You don't have to remember to bring one with, buy anything additional, it's all set up. And then we have our camera prep right there. Uh, for the people that might be towing this around instead of just parking it, you can get that backup camera installed. It's all ready for it. Now coming to the front side, we have our big outdoor kitchen. So we're gonna have a nice big refrigerator cupboard right there, a nice size sink, and then we got their new grill with some splash guards on the sides. So uh, a lot of outdoor kitchens, you're going to be getting grease on your fiberglass, on the awning. This one you really won't have that problem because you get the door above and the splash guards on the side. Speaking of the awning though, we got a nice big awning. It's going to cover quite a bit of the camper does cover the door and the outdoor kitchen. If it's sprinkling outside, you can still actually be outside when you're camping. Then right here, we have our tankless on-demand hot water heater. So bring a couple people camping with you, a couple dogs decide to get muddy. You're gonna have constant hot water. You don't have to worry about that. We got our TV mounting bracket right here with our outlets and then our key TV location right there for the cable and satellite. If you like watching NASCAR, football, baseball, your soap operas at the campsite, you can do that all outside on the nice days. And then going with that TV, we got two outdoor speakers. You can play music, obviously the TV, really whatever you want, as long as you have a Bluetooth connection for that. And coming up to the other side of the pass-through storage. So just a lot of room on this side. And then right here is something really nice that I really only seen Bullet do. You can get these pegs that prop up in there. If you want to bring some tools with, collapsible fishing rod, anything like that, you can actually store it on here. And then we got our nice sturdy solid steps with the adjustable feet. So you're not going to get those flimsy steps that dogs hate going up because they're not stable. If you need to pull yourself in at night after you've had a hard day of camping, you can do that. You got the nice big grab handle to help with that too. And right by the door, we do get the fire extinguisher. If the uh, grandkids fling their 
s'mores <laughs> into the grass. Anything like that is right by the door. Also by the door, we got all of our switches for our porch lights, ceiling lights, slides, awnings, and all of our tank sensors. And I'll just walk by this. This is one of the biggest pantries I've seen in a travel trailer this size. I mean, you could hide, hide somebody in there if you need to. We will start back in the bathroom now, though. All right, so back here, get this big cupboard. Nice big radial shower. A lot of people don't like these showers simply because there's not a lot of head height. But if you look on the ceiling behind you, uh, this bullet has a really big vaulted ceiling. So you're not going to have that issue in this camper. Even if you do have that issue, you get the vaulted ceiling and the skylight to help with that even more. And you get actual doors, not a curtain. Toilet's in the corner and angled right here. So anybody's going to be able to sit on it. Medicine cabinet right here. More storage down below. And, and quite a bit of counter space for a bathroom. Got your uh, hot water heater right, hot water heater controls right there, and the outlet. And just like the both outlets outside of the camper, this one's going to be in, inverter prepped. So if you do decide to install that solar inverter, you're going to be able to use a lot of outlets in this thing best thing about this bathroom is this storage so it goes all the way to my shoulder and it's just touching my fingertips right there shelf, shelf on both sides then we got a little four inch fart fan up above too and then if you want to swing back in there and look behind the toilet this does have a uh, floorless heating so all of the vents are going to be lifted up if you have any pets with you um, bring in some dirt or grass you're not going to have any vents to pick up in the bathroom or the living area right here we have a nice big stainless steel farm sink it is going to come with the rolling sink cover to dry your dishes and once we pop this up there is a lot of counter space. Then we got our three burner stove top right here, built in backsplash that folds over for storage. But right here we have actual tiles going along the back. Then we got our microwave slash convection oven up top. And we got our convection oven right there, big enough for cookies, pizza, anything fast like that. And just show you that storage instead of giving you a sneak peek like before. More room right there. A couple drawers up top. And these do pull out pretty far. So under the sink would be a great spot to put the trash can just so you don't have to see it. Got a nice little wine rack up top. And show you all your cupboard space. And then one thing just want to point out, most of these, if not all these colors, are going to be brand new for 2024 for Bullet, including the flooring, the slide fascia, the table colors, the chairs. It's all new, and it's probably one of the best combinations I've seen in any camper so far. And then we got our table right here with actual chairs. But coming down here, it's going to be mounted to the wall. So you can actually tuck the chairs in all the way, sit with four people, you're not gonna be banging your knees up underneath. Coming over to the theater seats right here, it's gonna be really nice. Actually recline and lean back, like you could sleep somebody right here. Then coming back to the table, we got some USBs right there. We have some by the theater seats as well. And all four of these windows on the side outs are actually going to open up so you can get a nice cross breeze going. And then for these windows, we're going to get blackout curtains on all of them. Only window that's not going to have a blackout shade is going to be the kitchen right there. They have to put the regular metal blinds there because of the oven. Coming over here, we have our fireplace, which 
for up in Minnesota might be the best camping invention ever made. It's going to be like a Mr. Buddy heater, but it's going to look nice. So on those chilly spring mornings or fall nights, if you don't want to kick on your furnace, that's going to make this whole place comfortable. Nice big smart TV right here. So you can get your Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Disney, um, Hulu Live TV if you want. Or if you still like a CD player or a DVD player, you can go ahead and put one up here. If you want to drill a small hole right here, you can round the cords down and hide all that stuff up here. Then probably shouldn't just glance over the fridge. We got a nice big 12 volt compressor fridge. So this does come with the solar package, obviously, since we talked about the charge control and everything else. Solar is going to charge the battery. Battery is going to run the fridge. When you're towing down the road, your truck will charge the battery. Battery will run the fridge. So if you're going to go to a campsite a couple hours away from your house, you can pack all your food for your weekend trip, drive to the campsite instead of going there, unhooking everything, setting up, and then going into town to buy your food. You can put everything in here, get it all organized, and keep it cold for your trip. All right, now coming into the bedroom, we do have a TV mounting bracket, cable outlets up there for it, and a nice big closet. You get one on both sides. Overhead storage. And there isn't a headboard on here, but there's a really nice design on the wall that just makes it feel really big. And then we're going to get outlets and USB ports on both sides of the bed. If you are camping somewhere without any hookups and you get that solar inverter, this outlet on this side is going to be prepped for the inverter so you guys can charge your phones, run your CPAP machines, anything you might need. Then under the bed we get storage and it's on actual struts. And this is a good uh, place to point this out. This is aluminum framed so there's not going to be wood studs in the wall. Just to point out how big these ceilings are, I, I'm 5'10", not the tallest person in the world, about average. Uh, there's quite a bit of room. Arms aren't fully extended, but there is a lot of space right here. So, that's our 2024 Bullet. Uh, again, my name is Jarrett here at Bullion RV. If you have any questions, give me a phone call.